Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Carla and I have lost um, six stone in the last eight or nine months. September, October, November, December, nine months. And I have done that whilst having the world's sweetest sweet tooth. I like savoury snacks, don't get me wrong. I like all naughty food. That's how I got to the point where I needed to lose more than six stone because this journey is not over. I started at 27 stone, I'm currently at 21 stone, pound or two here or there, and there's a way to go. You can imagine at 21 stone there's a way to go. But this video is not about where I am on my journey, it's about what I eat to to appease that sweet tooth. I'm always going to have a sweet tooth, I think. I've, I've, I've always... One of my, my, my earliest memories from childhood revolve around being bought sweets and and wanting more sweets and when I was 12 we moved to a news agent and then my sweet tooth really kicked in and I don't think I'm ever going to be cured of that and also I don't think I want to be cured of that I like sweet stuff and I'm not afraid of it but obviously if I wanted to lose weight then I had to change some of the things I ate and also eat some of the other things in moderation so today's video is my top 10 lower calorie sweet treats some of them are low calorie and some of them are lower calorie but it's going to make a very long title if I put that in. So we're calling it Top 10 Locale Sweet Treats. And I've got some little notes and I've got some packaging and I've got some recorded footage to show you. Well, I've just gone online and found some footage so that you know, if, you're to, if you go to look for the things that I'm mentioning, you'll know what you're looking for. And they're not in any particular order, but they're, well, they're in the order I've written them down. That's it, really. So I'm going to start with... Flower and white meringue bars. I only discovered these once I'd started losing weight. I did, they're not something I knew about before. They are, if you have a sweet tooth, they are the ultimate in sweet tooth appeasement because they are meringue with a thin layer of fair trade chocolate. I've got two empty boxes here. You can buy these on the flower and white website or you can buy them on Amazon. I'll put a link to the Amazon listing below. If you if you click the Amazon affiliate link, I get a little kickback, but the price isn't actually any different. If you have Prime with free delivery, the price isn't any different to if you buy it online. So you'll be seeing in the little bit of footage that I've recorded that Flower and White do a taster pack, which I think is, is it 12? I think it's 12 bars of, um, of the various different flavours. And that's £17.50 plus £3.75 postage. So it comes in at £21.25. If you buy from flower and white on amazon it's still 21.25 but you get it delivered free with prime so there's no additional delivery charge so it just comes a bit quicker if you deliver if you order if you order with prime obviously you get it a bit quicker than if you order direct from flower and white i don't know how, how it works but it does work my favorite flavors are the salted caramel and the raspberry crumble the salted caramel is covered in milk chocolate and the raspberry crumble are covered in white chocolate they're just so nice each of them is under 98 calories and i think i think I think one might be 95 and one might be 90. Oh no, these are both 95. So perhaps the other, oh, they're all under 98 calories anyway. They work out, I think I did the maths and they work out about £1.13 a bar or something like that. That You may think that's not the cheapest way to have a treat and it's not, but the price of ordinary chocolate bars have risen horrendously in the shops as well. And I think they are worth it. Apart from my Amazon affiliate link, I'm not affiliated with Flower and White in any way. I genuinely think these are worth buying. As you can see, I've eaten mine. I try not to place an order too often because they are so very Moorish that I will just plow through them. I don't have packaging for this one that I'll show you some footage on screen. Is the M&S chocolate covered rice cakes. They are 123 calories per bag and they are £2.50 for a multi-pack in which you get six packets. So that's about 40 pence a bag, isn't it? Four, eight, 12, 40, 41 point something pence a bag. Somebody else can do the maths. I really like them. They come in milk or plain. I like the milk ones, but you might be a weirdo and like the plain ones. You do you, that's fine. And I consider them to be a bit of a luxurious treat just because they're Marks and Spencer, I think. I think I'm still in the in the little shopper mindset. So they come from Marks and Spencer, so they must be luxury. <laughs> they're really nice. They don't taste like a diet treat. The chocolate on there is, is lovely. And I have these, like I said, as a special... Ooh, I've got some M&S rice cakes. Aren't I lucky? They do large ones as well, which I think are about 80 calories each. But I don't think they are individually wrapped in the bag. And that's why I haven't bought those, because I will keep on going. If it's not individually packaged, it's all one portion. 
this is my problem this is my problem with cakes a whole cake is a portion because if not surely it would be already sliced and portioned next up i have the packaging for this one coconut saint bars these are the brand saint and i found some footage of again which i will pop in uh, these are 97 calories each they do two kinds i haven't tried the salted caramel ones i've only tried these but i don't buy them online i buy them in home bargains and they are a pound a packet which is cheaper than buying them online i think online they were either one pound fifty or two pounds per pack so they're a pound in home bargains and that's where i get them and i've run out i need to go and get some more did i say they were 97 calories they're really nice they are five coconut and chocolate cereal bars dipped in milk chocolate made from quality ingredients and high in fiber I really like those and I really recommend them if you like coconut. If you don't like coconut, maybe try the salted caramel ones. And if you've tried them, drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of them. I haven't seen them in my home bargains, otherwise I'd have given them a go. Next one. These are a recent discovery. I don't know when they were launched, but I discovered them in Sainsbury's a few weeks ago. OMG. They are good ice cream bars. They're made by Walls. They are Greek yogurt ice cream on a stick. They do four flavours, passion fruit, which I have not tried because I've not found those yet, salted caramel. The flavour of the salted caramel wasn't very strong. It was very nice, but it wasn't very, it didn't go, you didn't go, oh yes, that's definitely salted caramel. But the blueberry ones, which I have here, and the raspberry ones, absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice flavoured ice cream. A decent sized portion and only 84 calories, 84 calories each not the cheapest thing at the moment i think they are when they're on offer they're two pound fifty and you get four in there so i suppose that's still cheaper than buying an ice cream off the ice cream van but definitely definitely worth the money absolutely worth the money for those look the only place i found them is sainsbury's had a look on the website and even then the they say stockists and the only place that has them is stock is sainsbury's so and obviously they're ice cream so they're in the freezer section you knew that i didn't need to say that sometimes only chocolate will do sometimes all of these cereal bars and all of these lovely meringue things sometimes you just want chocolate and for those times i have a dairy milk little bar so these are what you used to buy the kids i think they used to be called animal bars maybe i don't know but either way they're just called little bars now you get six in the packet i'm sure you've seen these um they used when i was a kid they were like 15p up in the probably about 40p now i don't know but you get six in the packet now and you can usually pick up the multi-pack for a pound in most supermarkets and home bargains and places like that. Each bar is 96 calories. I break it up. Before I open it, I break it up into shards and I suck it really slowly and try and pretend to myself that I'm having a massive bar of dairy milk. I've already broken that one. Shall I open it? Don't open it, Carl. It's not snack time. So yeah, definitely, if only chocolate will do, then the dairy milk little bars are the way forward for me. Next up, Skinny Dream Bars. Now, the Skinny Food Company make a whole range of diet foods, and some of them are good, and some of them are not so good. But the Skinny Dream, Skinny Whip, and Skinny Crunch Bars, they're good. So in my hand, I've got the Rocky Road, and this is a full box, yay for me. These are 75 calories. If you have ever done Slimming World, and you have bought the Slimming World Hi-Fi Rocky Road Bars, they're just like that. I would not be surprised to find they were made in the same factory and just put in a different wrapper i'm not saying they are because slim and world might come and sue me but it wouldn't surprise me if somebody told me that that happened because they're exactly the same um however the slim world high fi bars are 195 a pack at group and these are only 150 a pack in iceland and home bargains and b and i haven't seen them anywhere else if anybody else knows anywhere else they're stocked please do mention it in the comments because people might like to find them the Rocky Road ones are my favourite, but they also do a chocolate delight one. And then in the Skinny Crunch, I enjoy the peanut butter, the mint, the toffee and the chocolate orange in all of those in the Skinny Crunch. And they are all under 75 calories. Um, I think some come in at around about 68. I couldn't tell you which one's off the top of my head, but they're all definitely worth picking up if you see them. And you will find those in Home Bargains or B&M and they're usually a pound a box. They are cheaper than the Skinny Dream. The Skinny Dream are slightly more expensive, but definitely worth the extra money for them definitely worth the extra 50p for these because they are they taste really good they're very very much worth the money next up i don't have any packaging but i do have footage which i'll be dropping in and that is the protein world slender mug cakes i'm hoping i've got the name right but they're definitely made by protein world the footage is there for you to see they when i first bought these they only did them in the double chocolate and then they brought out a vanilla choc chip and now they've got loads so i've got three kinds i've got the 
birthday cake, the vanilla choc chip and the double chocolate. But I think I might try the red velvet and there's also a caramel one. They've got loads of different ones. On the website it recommends that you make them up using coconut oil and milk and blah blah. I, I ignore that completely. I follow the advice of somebody I saw on Instagram and if I could remember her name I'd credit her but I think it might have been Gemma B. Um, if you look, look for Gemma B Slimming I think you'll find her. If I can find her I'll put a thing on the screen for you. Um, yeah she makes them up 40 grams of the powder, 40 millilitres of water and in the microwave for 40 seconds. Works for me, works fine. I haven't tried them the other way. Maybe they taste even better if you make them the way that it says on the bag but this way around they are 113 calories I think so you save about 40 calories and they're just perfect. They're just they're just fine you know it's an absolutely fine sponge cake that you get. I often have them with the next item which is low-fat custard. Ambrosia low-fat custard comes in at under 100 calories for a pot. Cake and custard. It's like being back at school. It's just perfect. I like a sweet treat, can you tell? <laughs> Next up, Goulite. Again, I don't have any to show you, but they come in the little ramekins like all goo puddings do, so you will end up with more ramekins than you can use in a lifetime. The light ones all come in at under 160 calories and there are three or four flavours. You'll find them in the chilled section in your supermarket. Not far from the yoghurts, they're kind of in that area, chilled desserts. They're not the cheapest thing but they're often on special offer. I think you can usually pick them up at around about £2 for two or £2.50 for two. So they're a nice little extra treat. They're not huge. I think one of the ways that they've managed to keep them low calorie is to make them quite small. <laughs> Which is always the way, isn't it? But they are nice, they are enjoyable, and I do recommend all I've tried all the flavours, they're all good. And of course you get a free glass dish to add to your glass dish collection. But sometimes you don't want to eat a diet pudding. Sometimes you don't want anything that says light on the label. Sometimes you want to feel like you are having a proper things I used to eat before I decided I was too fat treat. That's when I go for a cream meringue. Um, I'm showing you the ones on the Tesco website, they do a toffee one and an ordinary one, but I'm pretty sure you can get cream meringues in most supermarkets. They're only about 113 to 120 calories and it's fresh cream and it feels like you are joining the rest of the world and eating a normal treat. So sometimes only a normal treat will hit the spot. Which takes me on to the last item. This video is a lot shorter than I thought, probably because I've rattled a bit. Takes me on to the last item which is the Marks and Spencer Iced and Spiced Buns. Prior to deciding I was need needing to lose weight, I would eat two of these for breakfast and quite happily have another two for lunch, another two as an evening snack, six in a day. Probably not a great idea. They are 224 calories, I think it is each. If I'm, if I'm saying that wrong, I'll put it on the screen, the correct number, because I'm, I'm doing it from memory. I think they're 224. They might be 264. I'll put it on the screen. They're the best buns in the world. They are absolutely delicious. They sell them in a two pack, although if you go to a Big Marks and Spencer, you can buy them singly in the lunches section. So if you're not to be trusted with a twin pack, buy a single one. I'm all right, because Natalie eats the other one to prevent me um, struggling with it. <laughs> struggling with myself over it. They are amazing. The dough is perfect. The level of, um, spice to dough ratio, the amount of fruit in there and the icing on top is like, oh, well, I, I need a bun. I need a bun. So if you like an iced bun, an old school iced bun, then I highly recommend the Marks and Spencer's Nice and Spiced, I think they're called, or Iced and Spiced. I've put a picture up, you all have seen it. There we go. You might be thinking, good God, does this woman do nothing but eat? I do nothing but think about eating, that's how I got this size in the first place, but I have lost six stone enjoying these treats throughout. Obviously the key to all of it is moderation. I don't always get that right. Sometimes I have a dairy milk bar and then I have another dairy milk bar and then I know I shouldn't have. Sometimes I have a cereal bar to be good and then I end up having the chocolate as well afterwards. I don't always get it right. But if you're looking for low calorie or lower calorie sweet treats to keep that sweet tooth quiet and stop it going rah and eating the world, maybe something I've mentioned in today's video will be useful. Thank you for watching. Remember to drop your comments in down below. If you have anything you'd like to recommend, drop that down below. Remember to hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed the video. If you're not already subscribed, do the subscribe thing, click the bell so you get notified when I upload. And I'll be back soon with some more of whatever it is I do here. Take care. Bye for now.